Just arrived to London town. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra Michelle, if you're new, and welcome back to another vlog. This is another travel vlog, and if you haven't watched my previous vlog, make sure you go ahead and do that first before you watch this one so you can see all the events leading up to this vacation. But we are here in London, and this is the first day. So we actually just completed our first day here in London. Everything has been super fast track since we got here. We arrived this morning at 10 a.m. London time. It was 2 a.m. our time, but we hit the ground running and started sightseeing and going out and doing things, and everything was just moving back to back. So I haven't had time to jump on camera face to face, but I did vlog throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and insert clips from our first day in London here. Hey guys, so we officially made it to London town, and we are sitting in the lobby of the hotel. Um, we can't officially check in until 3 o'clock and it is 12. So we're charging up our phones and then we're going to go out and do some exploring around our hotel before we can check in and get showered and all cleaned up. But yeah, the trip here was nice. Um, the flight was long. Uh, my little pillow situation it was comfortable but it wasn't comfortable like it wasn't as comfortable as I thought it would be so yeah our flight was pretty long um, it's 10 hours or well, just under 10 hours so we traveled through the night when we left LA it was 4 p.m. and when we arrived here in London it's 10 a.m. 2 a.m. back home so um, yeah got a couple of hours on the um, flight but it wasn't super comfortable i had my special pillow and everything and it worked for a little while but it wasn't like sleeping in a bed okay so <laughs> i would suggest it because it made it a little more comfortable than i would have had you know without having anything um but with not being able to stretch out and everything, it's not the same level of comfort, but it did provide more comfort than I would have had if I just had to lean my head back. So I'm happy with my purchase. Um, I did utilize it. Um, so yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I showed you guys some clips of the food on the flight. Um, the breakfast was like yogurt, granola, and like a chocolate croissant. We didn't ha eat the dinner because we brought our own food at the airport. But um, for dinner, they had like a Mexican chicken and they had a vegetarian option. Um, they also provided, you know, like soft drinks, but you can also get complimentary alcohol. If you guys don't know, like international flights, they offer you wine with dinner. You can get a cocktail um, when you board. Um, and apparently you can get as many cocktails as you want because... <laughs> The people next to us, they were ordering two at a time. So there's that. Um, but the flight was, it was nice. It was interesting. A couple of things um, happened on the flight. Nothing like crazy, but just noticing um, things around me uh, were interesting. But yeah, so we're here now. Um, we're going to charge up our phones and get out there and see. I love
your taste this A little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm, everybody else basic You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice Poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs Dedicated to you when You're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen Better yet for your friends and them I really wanna know you all I really wanna show you off So I got the Nutella pancakes with strawberries and blueberries. Brandon got the traditional English breakfast. And I'm gonna try some of his. So the beans look like they're cold, but Brandon said they're room temperature, so I'm gonna give them a go. Pork and beans. This tastes like pork and beans. On the menu it says baked beans, but there's no sugar in it. There's no brown sugar, there's no honey, there's no nothing. <laughs> Just tastes like pork and beans. canceled so we have to do our own tour but it's so beautiful as soon as you step off the train it's so beautiful The lady on the thing said St. James's Park, right here all together, Westminster Abbey. The Parliament Square is what they call it. Ooh, it's thing over here. So everything's pretty much closed right now because of um, the funeral services and people viewing the, the um, do they view her body? What are they viewing? They're viewing just the coffin. The coffin. It's a closed casket. Oh, it's a closed casket. They just walk by. But yeah, uh, but yeah, so we're learning a lot and um, you know, our trip has taken a different turn because of these unfortunate events. However, um, we're still able to view everything from outdoors. So that's what we've been doing, just walking around, 
uh, taking pictures and there's a lot of people out here. They're in mourning, so it's a little somber around, but um, we're still getting a good experience. So, hope you guys are enjoying the views. Let's keep walking. Hey guys, it's 5.30 a.m. and we're headed to the train to Petty. Ooh, we got up at 4.30 this morning. Got fully dressed, packed our, <laughs> our stuff, and we're headed to the train station. Well, I don't know what they call the metro station. The underground. We're headed to the underground to catch that to the train station. They told us to come an hour to an hour and a half early because of the influx of travel during this time. So we're going. Good morning. And it's not that cold, yay. <laughs> it's about 60. But it's good. Alright, let's go. Don't miss on 
beautiful out here. It, it feels unreal. It looks like a picture, like in front of your face. <laughs> so crazy. Look at all those people. Jesus. Look at all the people over there. We are back in our room in Perry and we have had a full day. So just to catch you guys up, I know I only talked briefly this morning and you guys just saw a bunch of clips from our day in Paris because everything has been moving super fast paced. I thought I was going to have time to sit down and talk to you guys and explain what we're going to do and everything like that. But we got to Paris and we hit the ground running. So this morning we got up at 4.30 a.m. and we took the city, like metro, they call it the underground, um, to the train station, the Eurostar to Paris, which was a really nice experience. Um, we did the business premiere class. So um, it was really nice, kind of like VIP service where they walk you in, um, you have a separate check-in line than everyone else and you have access to the premier lounge while you're waiting for your train to arrive because they suggest that you arrive an hour early. We arrived an hour and a half early because of everything that's going on in London with the funeral services. So we arrived there super early, um, but it really wasn't needed because once we got there, they escorted us to through the line then to the lounge. Once we were in the lounge, we were able to have breakfast there as you guys were able to see in the clips. Um, and then we boarded the train. We also were able to have breakfast on the train as well. They had like a full breakfast. In the lounge, it was more continental. Um, and they had a traditional English breakfast with a little bit of champagne. Um, so it was a really nice experience. I actually took a cute little nap on the train as well. Um, excuse my hair. Like I said, we've been out all day. <laughs> so um, yeah, so once we arrived in Paris, we took the metro to our hotel. Now, I will say London's, it was, it's a little bit easier to navigate in London as an American because they speak English. When you cross over into France, it's a completely different experience because everyone's speaking French to you. They think you can speak French and you're like, merci, bonjour, like, <laughs> you know, so... Uh, we did try to brush up a little bit on our French, but um, just in the train station, it was a little bit, we had to take a beat and figure things out, um, but someone did help us. Um, and then once we were able to figure it out, we have this app called City Mapper. I highly suggest getting City Mapper because it's made our navigation process like as smooth as it can be because you literally type in where you want to go and they list down, uh, they give you instructions on how to take the train where to get off where to transfer platforms and things like that um in both london and paris we've been using city mapper and we haven't had to take uber or taxis or anything like that we did take a taxi today um to get back to our hotel that's just because we were tired and we didn't want to do public transportation anymore we just wanted to get back to the hotel um but city mapper has been a great help like i said so anyway um, we, once we got to our hotel, we dropped off our bags and then we, we also pre-purchased tickets for the hop on hop off tour in Paris, which basically is a double decker bus, um, that takes you all around the city and they have several stops. All of the main stops that you want to see the Eiffel Tower is the first stop. They take you to the Louvre. They take you to all the museums, to Notre Dame, 
to the Champs Elysees where all the shops are. They take you everywhere. So, and you can literally hop on and hop off the bus as you please from 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. So we took full advantage of that. Um, and we basically went all around the city a couple times because uh, we were looking for the shops and we stayed on a little bit longer than we needed to. But it was really nice because the first time around, you know, we're taking pictures and videos. And then the second time around, we kind of were just watching um, and listening. They have uh, earbuds that you can listen to. They have several different languages. Um, so that was a really nice experience. We got to hear all the history and things like that. And um, yeah, so that was a really great experience. We took a lot of pictures. Everyone was so nice offering to take pictures of us. We took pictures of other people. Um, so we had a really good experience um, with the tour. And then we went to the shops. Now the shops got a little bit tricky because um, as you know, or some of you may or may not know, luxury shopping um, in Europe is a whole lot cheaper than it is in the US. So we had several stores that we planned to go to today. And we're only here in Paris for a day and a half. So we had to like cram in everything that we wanted to do. Um, we will be back, but this trip was a little bit shorter because we have two little ones at home and we didn't want to stay away from them for too long. So we're doing a couple days in Paris and a couple days in London. So while we're here, we're like, we're going to go see everything. Then we're going to go shopping. So we hit the shops and there's lines everywhere. So my main thing was I have a Chanel bag that I've been wanting. And so we're like, we'll go to Chanel first. We did not anticipate that it would take so long in the Chanel line. I was in there so long. My husband was like, listen, I'm going to go to Gucci. Let's divide and conquer. And then my phone was dying. So it's been a really long day. Um, I didn't find the things that I was looking for today. We did not get to go to the Louis Vuitton store um because once we finally got to the larger louis vuitton store which is like i think three or four levels maybe even more than that um they cut the line off because they close at 7 p.m so they cut off the line at 6 p.m so we thought we had a little bit more time and we did not so we may try to go in the morning um they don't open until 11. so if we have time we'll go in the morning if not then we'll just go in london um you still get a great discount in London as well but yeah we just had a super jam-packed day we didn't even really see our room until 7 p.m because we were in the streets all day I got one thing from Zara because I needed to get some shoes for an outfit so um that's really all we purchased today um because they didn't really have what we needed I went to Hermes to get some sandals and they did not have they were like a half size off from what i needed so that was a bummer they're closed tomorrow um but we had a great day just like really taking in the city and the um the environment and i mean it's just so surreal um looking at all the buildings and things that you see in movies and things like that i was telling my husband like it feels like we're watching a movie in real time because it doesn't look real <laughs> But it's really beautiful. I'm so glad that we came. And that's what we've done so far. So just wanted to catch you guys up. I know I inserted a lot of clips, but I just kind of wanted to talk through that um, so that you guys know what's going on. Because I haven't been doing a great job at vlogging necessarily. I've been montaging, okay? Um, so yeah, now we're getting ready for dinner. We're going to get dressed. We're going to go take some pictures in front of the Eiffel Tower. Our room is literally right next to the Eiffel Tower. Um, I found this hotel on TikTok and I'm really glad that we booked it because we have a great view of the Eiffel Tower. I will show you guys the room probably in the morning because we've already been here for a little bit and the sun's going down and everything so it won't be the best lighting. So I'll probably show you guys the room tomorrow. But yeah, let's go ahead and get dressed because we gotta get dinner. I love
fragrance Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit Ooh, And I know your taste is a little bit mm. spending the day and heading back to London. We'll be spending the day and heading back to London this evening. We bought that champagne last night and did not drink it, so we're drinking it this morning. Cause you're on vacation, you know? And the champagne is so good. Um, so yeah, we're all packed up. We just finished taking our last pictures of our beautiful view. I'm gonna show you guys the view one more time. I don't even know if I showed y'all the view. Let me show you the view. Yeah, so I forgot to show you guys the room, but clearly we, we've been in here. So we're just going to skip that part, but <laughs> bed's over there. Got a little TV, sitting area. Walk out, you have a balcony, the city, and this is why we came here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is why we picked this hotel because it's so close to the Eiffel Tower. We got some great pictures out here. It was beautiful last night uh absolutely love it and then you have their regular parisian style um homes or hotels got a little soccer field but yeah the view is beautiful here absolutely loved it yes so we are taking our stuff downstairs got some water to go i think the rest of that is just trash and let me get my bag on. The room itself is is nothing spectacular, but it's nice. Um, I got multitasking. But yeah, they have these complimentary waters here. They have a little mini fridge here, and then you have a coffee bar here. You got your bathroom, basic necessities, <laughs> and we're out. Hubby's gonna kill off that champagne. It's so good. He doesn't really like champagne normally, but this one's good. So yeah, we got up early this morning. Got up about seven. Started getting ready. Got our photos in. And now we're heading out early because we didn't, like I said yesterday, we didn't get to go to Louis Vuitton because they closed on us. There we go. And they open today at 11. It's 9.30 right now. Bonjour. We plan to get there at like 10 so that we can be early in line and get in. <laughs> so yeah, we plan to get there at 10 so that we can be like, hopefully some of the first ones in line because we were slipping yesterday. Yeah, We're not gonna slip like, today. We're gonna go around. Bonjour. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. That's how you're supposed to say it. I know dreams come true. And I wonder if you know. about an hour before they open and we're third in line. Yay. <laughs> so while my husband is waiting in line at Louis Vuitton, I'm walking to the macaroon shop. Um, it's supposed to be one of the most popular ones here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it looks like La Dure or something like that. So I'm on my way there. They open in about 20 minutes. It's super popular, so I'm anticipating a line there.
And I wonder. So I just made my purchases at Louis Vuitton. Um, I got a bag and some sunglasses. The sandals that I wanted, they didn't have my size, so that sucks. Aww. Right now, I'm walking to Fendi. Um, my husband is waiting for our yeah. items because it takes a while for them to package everything. So, um, I'll show you guys that stuff later, probably when we get back home. But, um, and we're trying to divide and conquer because we don't have much time today. So yeah, it's a 12 minute walk. I'm pushing it. They don't let you record in these stores. So I snuck a couple of photos, but I wasn't able to record. But I'll check back in with you guys when I get to Fendi because I'm power walking through these Paris streets. <laughs> shopping bags for you they give you a little ticket and they store your shopping bags while you have lunch it's really cute outdoor seating but you have to have a reservation for that but it's really nice in here as well so we're going to enjoy some lunch and try some escargot and petty and beef tartare and beef you're going to get some beef tartare we're going to get beef tartare i'm going to try it I'm gonna try everything. <laughs> Cause when in Perry, you gotta try everything. Oh my gosh, it's really good. The beef tartare. That's a big scoop. It's good. Mm -hmm. Turn, turn. I'm not going to take as much as you did. <laughs> Cheers. Good. Thank you. So I got the spicy lobster pasta. Uh, shrimp risotto. Bon appetit! I'm also trying some French wine. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> back from Paris and we're back in London and we're we were hungry tired <laughs> do not want to go out tonight so there's a um, Burger King right next door and we hear that these fast food places in other um, countries taste better so we went to Burger King and my husband went and got some KFC hopefully you guys can hear me the um, air conditioner is really loud but I got this Angus burger and it actually looks pretty good. Uh, it has pickled onions and I think it has cheese, lettuce, all that good stuff. 
it looks like some arugula on there and then it came with fries and then i got these dipping sauces this is their spicy mayo it's actually really good it kind of tastes like a spicy mac sauce or something like that the barbecue not good the fries are very thick but they're they're okay they're decent i threw the drink in the trash because i don't know what kind of sugar they use in their soft drinks but it's disgusting so i just threw it away i have water that's what i'm gonna drink so yeah i'm about to eat to eat this and then and i tried the ketchup the ketchup is like i think it tastes regular i just had to try everything but the barbecue sauce is gonna be a no for me um that is good but i probably won't eat a lot of it because it's kind of it really is spicy and the ketchup is cool so i'm using the ketchup for my fries sorry it looks it's not aesthetically pleasing but i just wanted to tell you guys what it tastes like so and by the way their bags are super thin i don't know that was weird to me bags are super thin drinks are disgusting they gave me mayo i did not ask for it they just gave it to me and they gave me ketchup so yeah that's dinner tonight Tomorrow, we're going to do some more shopping. And yeah, last day in London tomorrow. September 19th and we're in London still and we woke up this morning got dressed and we were like oh we're gonna go shopping now we know that the Queen's funeral is today Queen Elizabeth's funeral is today however we were told that a lot of the shops would still be open but as we walked outside this is what we saw The streets are completely lined with people because there's going to be a procession after the funeral for the Queen's casket to go around the entire city. What they call it a coffin. Her coffin. <laughs> uh, it's going to go around the entire city so the streets are lined with people so that they can view her coffin. And you can't cross over the street at a certain time to go to the train station and everything's closed. There's no really, really no point in going anywhere. It's a national holiday. The banks are closed. Starbucks is closed. Everything's pretty much closed except for like small coffee shops and um, uh, small places to eat, Burger King, like stuff like that. So we're just here out with the locals. Done with the locals too. <laughs> Sip coffee, We've got some pastries. And we're going to view the coffin as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully we leave tomorrow. So hopefully we can have enough time to go and hit a couple stores in the morning. We're going to see um, what we can do. But today we'll probably just be sightseeing again. And um, just kind of exploring, seeing what we can get into. So let's do it. By the way, a caramel macchiato out here is not the same as it is in America. <laughs> I believe this is espresso, and I asked for caramel flavoring, so I believe this is espresso and caramel flavoring. I don't think there's any milk in here. That's fine. It is it. That's what it tastes like, huh? Yeah. Espresso and caramel flavoring. There's no milk. It comes in a small shot like this. That's pretty much what mine is. And his is a mocha. Are they called clapping? There's bagpipes. Or bagpipes. 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 Yeah. This morning at like 8.30, we heard um, like bells going off yeah. back to back to back. So there's a lot of different auditions and things that have been going on that were kind of like, oh, what's happening? Like, <laughs> but we did uh, speak with um, some people kind of gave us a synopsis of what's going on. But I think we're supposed to be quiet now. It got real quiet. Stop talking. I was in the pastry. That what you said is called. It has some type of custard. Hmm. It's like a cheese sandwich. Very rich, but it's good.
tomorrow and we tried to come by Buckingham Palace but they have the roads blocked off because of crowd control so we're gonna try to get as close as possible so that's what's going on get some souvenirs too oh look at here's all the buses these are all the buses that the people that attended the service looking at souvenirs Oh yeah, I think that's a good size. This and this one. I think those are a little might be too big. Cause, well, you do, you, do, you do have plenty of room on this desk. It's actually bigger, so and they come together, so that's good. Got all of our souvenirs. Got a lot. <laughs> Good morning. It is officially our last day here in London town. <laughs> we are all packed up. We got all of our stuff packed away, including the items that we purchased here. I think we did a pretty darn good job. And yeah, so we are dressed and ready to go hit the last couple of stores we can before we catch our flight. So it is currently 9 a.m. And we have all of our things packed. We're going to go ahead and check out. Even though checkout's not till 12. Um, we're going to go ahead and check out so that we can just go shopping, come back, grab our things, and head to the airport. So it's been an amazing trip. Um, I'll probably touch back in to just give my overall review of the trip. But we had a great time while we were here. So excited to go home and see our babies. Um, if I could just go pick them up and bring them back, I would stay here longer. But, you know, <laughs> really, really, really miss them. So we are ready to pack it up and head out. So we will see you guys shopping. Uh -huh. 